Grace. Welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that gives in-depth and innovative ideas in the field of agriculture. Today we are inside the maize farm. This is a commercial maize farm, which is about 200 acre farm, of which um, we started the journey some 45 days ago. And uh, this is the result that we have so far. Um, we take you through some few things. Um, some may be anxious to know what is the planting distance that we used. The planting distance that we used, it was 25 uh, centimeters is to 60 um, centimeters. That is... 25 centimeters from here to there between plants we had 25 centimeters and then um, between rows we had 60 centimeters so you can see the distance and what we did was that it was um, one seed per hole one seed per hole that is what we did and you can see that indeed there is uh, massive um, reasons that we, we chose 25 by 60. And then we chose one seed per hole. Because if you look at even the stand, if you look at the plants, the stem, you can see that we have a reasonable um, diameter, a reasonable size of the stem. Because that one also has influence on the tasseling and then uh, fruit formation. Okay, yeah. So you can see just one in a hole. So here there is no competition over nutrients. There is no competition over uh, water. There is no competition over air. You can see that they are spacious. Air circulation is through. You can see them clearly in there. So, this old thing, you can see them, you can see the stands that they are standing alone, you know, all these sides, too. you can see, yeah, so let's look at how, this one, this one for instance, we have about three, uh, three of the corn in here, for me, um, it's super amazing going through. You can see that it is spacious. Moving through the whole thing, and I try to see incidents of uh, four army worm. Yeah, these ones were infested with four army worm. That's why the control. Um, yeah, so. This is how our maize farm is doing. See that pollination is ongoing. Very, 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 very well. We will very soon we will start our weeding soon. It looks quite bushy, but we clear the weed again. Yeah. Very simple. So we have a lot of plants populations here. Yes. And we are growing massively because of the time I want us to move throughout the whole field so that we, we can see the so today I want to take you through the farm just a simple tour yeah, it looks like bushy, 
But don't worry. We always clear everything soon. So this is how our maize farm is doing. This side, we did not even apply any fertilizer. But you can see that indeed we are growing vegetative, we are growing so nice. So today it's a complete tour. Yeah, no, so sad, yeah. We are creating the whole thing, then, you know, we have to create um, a walkway. So the whole thing is one part. But we created this walkway for free and easy movement. Because when the maze is ready, we have to use traps to move through the whole part. See that we are completely in rows, as I told you earlier. That we use 25 centimeters by 60. We are storing the whole thing here. Was just a bare land now, at least from 45 to. 50 days on, this is the result we have. The whole side is now flooded with maize plant. move so as you see we had the inner road from there and now we have another section here we have this side too we have another road in here so it runs through yeah this is our maze farm it looks quite busy we are you know about to do this control once again, before we do harvesting, yeah, this is what we can do. I'll show you one peculiar thing that we follow that gives a result. I want that to start that. For now, you can see that it runs through. It's this is just one block, another block, another, another. It runs through, yes. 
Today, I told you, we have a tour. Taking you through the new farm. But we are still moving. But <laughs> I think <laughs> if I, the farm is very big, very big size, and it's not easy if you can move through the whole area. <laughs> so this side also runs through to the end. You can see there is another walkway here. Yeah. And then with the other inner road. Movement of materials and you also promote air circulation. That is our time. Now, there's something I want to show you. You can see that at this particular area, um, the color of the leaves of uh, maize is becoming pale, a bit yellow. This is not a disease actually. And it is not also a deficiency. The whole process is that if you look at the ground condition, the problem is coming from this side. If you look at the ground condition, you can easily detect that at this particular area of the land, sometimes flood. Okay, there is flooding condition here. You can see the leaves. And we all know that once the place is flooded, definitely leaching will take place. If I say leaching, it is the process whereby um, crop nutrients are washed deep down the soil to the point where plant root cannot get them to use efficiently. So once the place gets flooded, automatically the nutrient content would drain deep down the soil so that plant root cannot get them and use them efficiently like that. So this is one effect of leaching. Yeah, this is not a deficiency uh, um, something. Not that it lacks nutrient. Yes, it's all because the nutrient in the soil has been washed deep down the soil because this area of the land usually floods whenever there is massive rains. If you look at the ground condition, here is very, very, very wet. Too wet. Too wet. Too wet. You can see water even in the soil. Okay. Too wet. So definitely, anytime it rains heavily, then um, the whole place becomes flooded. If you look at the ground condition. So that is one thing that we have seen. And that is the conclusion. Sometimes, if uh, going forward, such we are going to demarcate such areas in the farm where there are flat conditions, so that in the raining season we may not plant this side. Because if you look at these areas, you can see that um, there are differences. Uh, wherever there is flat condition, definitely um, it affects. The, 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 the growth and development now let's look at one thing here too here you can see that it was 60 by 60 yeah almost 60 by 60 uh, uh, something uh, uh, what, what do you call the dimension you can see that here it was also one per stand one per hole you can see how the stem is also doing. Yes. These are some of the things. But I'll show you. I will do some comparison. And then I'll show you certain things on. Um, I can let me decide. It's a big event. It's a big farm. 
this is a commercial farm we cannot move through everything no we can't move through we can't finish at all today but um i want us to learn you do the last reading and then sometimes it is also good to, to prune away if you look at this um let's say when you have a plant like this you have to all these leaves are not important anymore they are just competing with the stem over nutrient and water so you prune the lower leaves prune the lower leaves Yeah, so in maize farming, um, you also have pruning, okay, to improve farm sanitation and then enhances um, uh, competition, prevent competition over food and water. So after weeding, we are going to do all this pruning to make the stem very healthy. Uh -huh. Look at how they are doing. They are doing very well. So nice. Yeah. This is a commercial farm too. In fact, um, within the year, this is our first planting. Uh, we are going to do another planting after this one is being harvested. There is one particular practical work that I want to show you. Um, if you look at this particular side, this is, what, this is one thing that we wanted to know something. If you look at this side, you can see that there we had two C's per hole. These were two C's per hole. Yeah, two C's per hole. Two C's per hole. Two C's per hole. Two C's per hole. Yes, you can see that there is competition over nutrients. There is competition over water. These two seeds, you realize that at the end of the day, this one is growing so well than this. One may ask why. There was competition over nutrients and water and other factors also prevailed. So you can see that this particular stem, this particular one has um, affected the growth of this. It has suppressed its growth. So you see that there is a stunted growth here. This one is not growing well, but this is growing a bit well, but also not all that well. So it was two C's per stance. This is another practical example. You can see this one too. This one is growing you see that this one has suppressed this. It is also not growing so well. To give so well, uh, what do you call it? Yield. You can see. This one will not give any better yield. Likewise, the same thing. These are all two pestans. You will see that at the end of the day, one is being affected. Look. You can see them. So they are not growing all that well. Now, these were what? Two C's per hole. Two C's per hole. You can see the results. So comparatively, let us go and watch where we use one seed per hole. Because most farmers think that maybe planting two in a hole, you will get more yield. No, the answer is no. Because there will be competition over nutrient. This is just there, but not as compared. Now this one did not grow efficiently. This one also did not grow efficiently. So at the end of the day, the farmer will lose the two. If you are a farmer and then you, you plant two stands per hole, this is the result that you get. We have done the practical work here. I told you Smart Agro is full of practicals. 
is full of practical works. So if you are, today, if you want to go into maize farming, don't do two holes per stand or two holes, uh, two seeds per stand or two seeds per hole. Always do one seed. So this is the result that we had. Let us go and see the one seed per hole. So we want us to know the end result. We wanted to know the best method to go by. So this this side, they were two seeds per stand. And now let us move to where we had one seed per stand. This side are all one seed per stand. So let's see how they are growth pattern. And if you look at this side, they are two. So watch it closely. You look at the way they are growing. Example here. If you look at this side, see, just one seed per stand. Look at the way they are growing. Just one, okay, just one per stand. Here, there was no competition over nutrients, there was no competition over water. There was no competition over air spaces. You look at how they are growing. The stem looks so good and nice. Okay. And you see that at the end of the day, they also give more fruit than the ones that we used uh, to uh, the hole. Yeah. You look at all these, how their stems are growing. Looks quite super amazing that they do the stand. Even their stems are known. Look at how their stems so big. They are big in size. Mm -hmm. They look bigger in size. See the stem. They are very, you know. Strong really nicely to give more um, yield. These are all one percent, and you can see how they are growing. The size of the stem tells. The sizes of the stems tells us that they do. It is good to plant. One seed per stand. That is good. Yes. We are still moving. I told you concerning the the bleaching, the effect of bleaching. You can see the side, the way they are going, which was just one seed per hole. But you can see that this particular side didn't do well. Okay, 
though there is some incidence of army worm infestation yet if you look at their growth rate because normally when it rains all these places are flooded you can see that indeed their growth is even stunted as compared to the others because here they weren't plowing um that was the tie of the tractor so here when it rains you know then it moves through then the rain here will be flooded and in the process of draining downwards then it drains down the train beyond the root of the crop yes that is why you can see that there are many things here that is the result of growing one plant instead one particular seed of wood the same problem here too also faces flooding so in the first, in the end, then nutrients are being washed away. See, so this market If you look at some of these areas where there is one seed per stand, you can see how they are growing. So nice. Yeah. So you can see them, and you can see that indeed. The stem is firm, strong, with good yield. Yes. Uh, as compared to the ones that we did more than one seed per hole. These were just one seed per hole, and these were the result. So at the end of the day, we have seen the difference. Going forward, in our next season, we are going to go by only one seed per hole for maximum results. So today, take it from us that doing maize farming, please do one seed per hole. Yeah, this is smart agro innovation. We are still on it. Today, we move through. Um, <laughs> the place, the, the land is so big in such a way that you can see I cannot walk through the whole 200 acres today. So on this note, I would like to and this uh, uh, uh all this teaching here today i told you this is smart agro innovation this is maize farming it is happening here in ghana yes and we this is the first season definitely we are going to do another one after this one has been harvested we are still on it we are practicing agriculture while learning alongside if today is the first day of watching us on Smart Agro Innovation, please kindly subscribe to the channel, share to farmer friends so that we can share the ideas. When you come to Smart Agro Innovations platform, um, you go to YouTube, just type Smart Agro Innovation. On your, if you go to Google search, type Smart Agro Innovations. We are good in planting sucker multiplication. In fact, vegetative propagation. Ha! Huh, it is all about Smart Agro Innovation. Plantain saka multiplication, banana saka multiplication, you move to uh, yam multiplication, cassava multiplication, um, a, a lot of things, snail farming, mushroom production, non-traditional farming, pangolins, a lot of stuff happening, cocoa production, cashew, a lot of things happening um, at Smart Agro Innovation. Our doors are open for job opportunities, collaborations, and research. You can see that this farm is an integrated farm. You can see that there are cashew uh, plants here. This is a cashew farm actually. So the cashew is the main crop. The cashew is the main crop, but it will take about three to four years to fruit. You plant your cashew, you don't have to just leave the land bare no you have to put it into production so look at look just look at the quantum of maize that we are going to harvest 
while we wait for our cashew. <laughs> so this is what integrated farming. Yeah, we integrate a particular crop with your main cash crop while we are waiting for the three, four years. We are still putting the land into production. And now the whole thing we are monitoring closely. So from now to harvesting everything, all those procedures we take it through. Yes, so this is Smart Agu Innovations once again. You can call us on practical ideas, uh, research works, a lot of stars. My name is Anthony Beidou, proudly a Ghanaian from West Africa. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.